Sting and they've done enough. It's the Eagles. Vitality Blast 2019 champion. There's been a lot of talk about Future's era, Fetch's era. Now with One Division One, we can say that you know we're actually starting to build our own era. And that is the moment they have decided to shake hands. And the county championship is on its way back to Chelmsford.
yeah. just just to get his iron because we know he can bat for bat for length. Smith in again to Cook. Just watches that. Just step half back and uh, just plays it out onto the onset, uh, offside. Better over so far. Yeah, it's a good over from Mark Smith. And that, well, that's the area he wants to to bowl to him. Obviously, they've, they've had a talk about how they think it's going to be best to do it. Ben Clifford at slip. Harrison Craig at um, point. Smith in again. Cook tried to flick that down there, but uh, the ball had drifted too wide and anything down leg side, and that was wide. It's a wide. So one goes on to the total. Yeah, it started wide and just kept going, really, didn't it? Yeah, it is. See what he's trying to do? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's swinging that ball into him. And um, I mean, what would be a real asset now if he's got one that can come in and in the air and then move off way off the off the pitch? But Smith in again to Cook, and again, Cook just flicks this off his thigh and down to uh, what is a relatively short boundary, I have to say. Uh, uh, on uh, the onside for for a, a boundary. There was that again, typical cook strength that off the thigh, just just back of a length, drifting down the leg side, and just a flick away, and with nobody with the uh, fine leg up, just on the end of the circle, no chance of cutting it off. Sixteen with our lost our six, and we're into the second over. Again, this time cook. Much better ball from Mark Smith and uh, pushed out to the captain at mid-off. That's the end of the over. So 16 without loss and a good start for, for uh, Essex. Uh, Alistair Cook looks in uh, particularly ominous nick and uh, Will Buttleman at the other end uh, is, uh, you know, looking as though he's going to uh, take the attack to the bowlers. Of course, so Alistair Cook making his debut in National Minor Counties is against Cambridgeshire uh, for Bedfordshire at Dunstable. Oh, got a, uh, a duck in the first innings and uh, batted about two and a half hours for 69, I think, if my memory's right, in the second inning. And our long times captain, and we'll never let him forget this, he walked up at the end, he said, he's 16 at the time, said he'll never make a cricketer. How wrong was he? <laughs> Guess he reminded him. Yes, since. Ali Hancock again, yes, to a Butterman on middle and leg. Butterman attempts to push it away uh, onto the side, ball back, bounce off his pad just to mid wicket, and they go through for a one a leg by yes how wrong could you have been of course so you made a, a big ton at Fenners against the university a couple of years yeah, ago yeah he did well, we and he made what he made one or two hundreds in the east anglian premier league as well made his debut at Barry and edmunds and uh, who was playing the now a, a first class umpire chris Gaff uh, test match umpire chris gaffney in new zealand hancock in again to cook full length and cook just pushes that up and uh, well uh, a rare bit of uh, movement, quick movement there from Wakas Hussein because he's got a bit of a reputation of uh, being the cat in this sort of field. Not not the liveliest this year, but a uh, good bit of fielding there from Wakas Hussein. He's obviously on form today. Seventeen for no wicket and win the third. Hancock. Uh, past the umpire bowls and uh, on the leg stump and ag again Cook played to Cook's strength and Cook with the easiest of tasks just nonchalantly flicks that off off the leg stump half volley and uh, down to the boundary for another boundary. Yeah, backward point made a, a brave attempt, a brave attempt, but uh, the ball's always going to win that one. It's all timing and so say no no evident effort. It was a beautiful shot. Yes, I mean, but if you've got, I mean, that that it's fodder for um, yeah. for um, payers of as to Cook's uh, ability and class. Hancock in again to Cook. This time it's the other side, so and Cook that. Cook just pushes that away uh, and for another boundary. You know, it's, I have to say, you know, are we seeing the start of a buffet? The hors d'oeuvre, yeah. the hors d'oeuvre of a buffet, because it is a bit buffet bowling to somebody like uh, Alistair Cook, as I said, just a nonchalant push at it, let the ball do the work, pace onto the bat, no big swing of the bat, just a push, nice follow through, boundary. 
Hancock again. And this time Cook just pushes out and uh, this time Wackers Hussein quickly in, stops the single. At this stage, uh, it could barely be going better for Essex. No, it could, but I, I have to say that... It's comfortable. The it's, it's good. This is slightly uh, quicker than it was on Sunday against Cheshire, but um, it happened then. They raced away about five and a half, six and over, but Cambridge pulled it back. Now, whether they can pull it back today, it'll have to return some drastic improvement. Hancock in again to Cook. F full pitch, uh, swinging in, and this time Cook again swings that away. And to the leg side for another boundary so got exactly what it deserved well it one. is if it's a full 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 bunger swinging in thank you very much onto the bat four and uh, well cooks raced away t 25 for no wicket <laughs> and we're in the third over and if they carry on at this rate it'll be over 400 that uh, <laughs> uh, cambridge will be chasing cook on 17 will buttleman on nine yeah, very very comfortable start from Essex Cambridge. Yeah. Not consistent. Uh, the, fir no. the first delivery of each over is pretty much on the money, and from there on, it's a uh, touch of the land of hope and glory. Yes, it is. Um, it is, and you know, it's uh, disappointing. But uh, I think they're probably trying a little bit too hard, Ali Hancock. He's got yes. it. Mark Smith coming in from the other end to Will Buttleman. Buttleman just pushes this out and uh, Mackenzie in quickly at, uh, oh no, Matt Doran in it, uh, at cover to quickly into uh, ensure there's no run. So from a bowler's point of view, is it a, a matter of settling in, just doing the basics, not trying to over, not trying to overstretch, not trying to do too much? Yeah, it is, it's, it's Mark getting a length um, and he wants to be just back of a length, so Smith in again, Buttleman and... Uh, Butterman just flicks this away, but it's only going to be one up to a uh, comfortable single up to Guest at mid-off. Probably didn't want to, because uh, Mark Smith not had a lot of bowling at the right-hander. Well, Butterman at the moment. Smith is going to cook. This down the leg side, flicks the pad, no run. Peels from Smith, more in hope than anything else. That just looked rather inviting, didn't it, for uh, Alistair Cook? Yeah, it's, all, it's that ball, that, that, that yeah. if he gets it right, it is the right ball, because it, it was pitched middle and off, probably, and then was um, move swinging. And, mm. he, and Smith is getting the ball to swing a little bit, but uh, or angled, I would say, probably more than swing. And it's not a bad day for that, is it? No. Again, this time goes in on, on a good length, but uh, Cook just pushes it up to uh, guess again at mid-off mid and a uh, comfortable one. But, uh, yes, it gets hotter the afternoon, doesn't it? Uh, and I think that we're mad dogs and Englishmen at the moment, hmm. out in the midday sun. As Smith comes in again to Cook, Cook just pushes at it, that casual look, just waits for the ball and just pushes that away through point for another boundary. It was a little uh, over pitched. It was and a a over pitch, yeah, a little bit wide as well, yeah. but it was still a sumptuous shot, wasn't well, it? It was, I mean, but it's, it's just so, so relaxed, it's so easy. It's not what you call a, a one day clobber. It was no. A, it was a proper guided place cricket not, shot it's not a not a, a, a premier league um opening bat shot that was class above mm. anything else because it was, it was a nonchalance yep. of it and that's what the thing was slips gone didn't last yes, long exactly and again same area again this time past cover with no chance to get it and another boundary and the obviously the ethics faithful members here are really enjoying this batting display at the moment uh, it's been a quick fire 25, I think it is, uh, for Alistair Cook, 34 on the board, and, uh, well, it's uh, it's all too easy at the minute. Yeah. Yeah. I think at the moment, it, uh, Will Buttleman and Alistair Cook are only breaking sweat because it's so darned hot in the, in the middle, but... Uh, well, I think it's more a Cook than Buttleman. I think, um, having seen Buttleman earlier on this year, playing for... Um, 
for Hertfordshire against us, and you know they, they, they'll know him a bit more. Mm -hmm. and he, he hasn't looked. They've just bowled some bad balls to him. It's going to be Hancock again. Yeah, was it? Thirty-eight after four overs. Yes, exactly. Mm. Hancock in again to Buttleman. Just better length. Just drop down onto the onside. It's all, all very quiet, isn't it, here today? Normally you hear a sign of police cars or fi uh, fire engines or, or emergency service vehicles. We haven't had much of that at the moment. It's a day for the cricket aficionado, isn't it? It is. Well, There's a, there's a good smattering of, of crowd in. There is a good which smattering is of crowd. To see. Yes. Again, this time over-pitched, but uh, didn't quite get hold of it, Buttleman. And uh, Callum Gaster's across quickly to uh, behind the stumps to make sure there was no run. I think the sensible ones, I have to say, are sitting in the uh, stand over to that uh, far side under under a little bit of cover, because I think that's where you do need it. Uh, yes. There's this afternoon. Otherwise, if you don't take the liquids, you'll be getting sunstroke. There's a gentleman under under an umbrella as well in the stand to our right. So again, this time, flicking in leg stump, obviously flicked the pad, or else that would have been wide. As the sun gets stronger as it moves around the ground. I think one or two, one or two players saying, just beginning to whirl their arms over me, and they'd like a go at the moment. Wako Hussein won. Or perhaps they wouldn't when they see the form that Sir Alistair Well, I was going in. to say, uh, are you sure? <laughs> Hancock up again. And this time angled across Buttleman, and he does nothing to do with it. Goes through to wicketkeeper Lee Thomason. You know this thing about having numbers on the backs of shirts? Yeah. I may have mentioned it before. Essex numbers, lovely and clear, dark numbers are a pale blue black background. Cambridgeshire is sort of a, a maroon uh, we haven't got any top numbers. fading we've got to white. I don't think we've got any there numbers. Might be, I think there are. That's no, the point. Well, there are. Well, it's just who can fit into what. Yes, we have got some numbers, but yeah. I mean... But that's the point. <laughs> Hanc 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 Hancock in, in again this time. Buttleman flashes at it, but uh, doesn't get an edge. Ball through to Lee. I think the thing is with Cambridgeshire, we don't buy a new kit every year. And obviously one or two players, their waistline increases. So mm -hmm. I think it's, well... We couldn't give them squad numbers because we don't know which shirt fits when you turn up to a game. Uh, still the point, if you've got a dark shirt fading to light, there are better ways than whatever colour... Of well, they are light blue, you see. Yeah. The light blue should be all right. Should or be. Egg eggshell blue. Should be an E, it's diff two different things. Hancock to, to Buttleman, again, over, over pitch. Can Mackenzie get round and cut that off? He tries, does the dive, and unfortunately not. Uh, uh, again, over pitch ball, just one bad ball in the over this time. It was a better over, but it one bad ball again. There was the four ball. This is what I said earlier that uh, you know the bad, the odd bad ball. Yeah, and uh, that's been the, that's been the case, hasn't it, all the way through? Yeah, I and, mean, uh, I, I mean Hancock, but uh, looking at the scoreboard, three overs, twenty-seven of his bowling. Smith has not uh, not been so bad. Only 14 off his two. <laughs> Whether that's good or not, I don't know. But uh, he's been given the chance. Into Cook. Cook just onto the back foot, pushes it out onto the offside. No run. He didn't quite time that. Got more of an inside edge, wasn't it, really? Well, yes, but I just think he waited for it a little bit more. He was just one of those, he still he steps on the back and just watches it onto the bat. And, well, no, I'm just pushing it away onto the offside. As, uh, Smith comes in again. Thank to Cook. Cook, uh, this time, flicks away enough for misfield at uh, by Duran at uh, sort of extra mid wicket area. And uh, they scamper through for a single. Yeah, it was a bit of a yes-no interlude, wasn't it? Buttleman, I think he almost ran two there. He came came halfway down, went back, kind of halfway yes, down, went right. back again. So, yeah. But worked out safely. That's right. And uh, Essex in complete control at the moment. 
disappointed we still haven't got a team sheet. But never mind, we'll bring you news as each batsman comes in. Smith in again to Buttleman and uh, this time pushed to Duran at uh, extra cover. May hear the fan blowing away in the in the background. I'm pleased we've got it this afternoon. It'll go it'll go faster if I want if you want it to. That's right. Smith in again, but wide. this time just drifting away, and uh, it's too wide. Battleman just goes to prod it and decide, no, I'm not going to bother. Quite right too. But it'll be interesting to see what um, Callum Guest does with his bowling. He's got a bit more medium pace with Ben Clifford. And then it's a spin option, although Wakas can say we're going to bowl the others. Uh, Smith comes in again, better ball, just back of a length. Just pushes Buttleman a little bit onto his uh, back foot. Or sort of lift up and just pushes it up to uh, Callum Guest at mid off, mid on rather. Again, encouraging much, a bit better again from Smith, but can he do it consistently? Well, that's that's going to be the thing now. He comes in again, but again, sort of leg stump half volley, but again, uh, pushed away. And, cool. and he was pushed away and caught it. He looked as though it pitched in front, but that was a, a neat catch and flicked away. And, uh, well, it surprised me. It, the sun, remember, is in, in, straight in our eyes here, so... Uh, Mark, uh, low catch, actually. Was just, just had to stoop in front of him. That's right. And a really, really neat catch catch there. Not sure who it was. Again, with the difficulty with the sunlight here in the, in the, in the press box at uh, the county ground. We're, we're trying to see who it is and use the thing. Garantla. Yes, N Nicol Garantla. Who is actually doing well to play today because he, he, I understand that the Essex Academy uh, had a game. But uh, first wicket down, then at 44. <laughs> Tom Wesley coming in. He's on the wrong side this afternoon. <laughs> Good to see Tom um, out in the middle. National batsman in the middle. This is this will be a good test. And he played a few test matches, didn't he? And uh, Tom, a quality player. Just had that one weakness of playing across his front pad, which yeah. uh, which the likes of Australia really found out. And yeah, uh, he's, not, he's not the first, and he won't be the last. No, he won't, one, no. one weakness. But uh, it was an important wicket for Cambridgeshire, just to put the brakes on a little bit. But they'll get a bit of a oh, having a sanita sanitisation. So yes, yeah, six overs gone, and now it's we need to. Uh, Looks as though we're going to get a bowling change, are we? No, we're not. Yes, we've got to go. Wakas Hussein is coming on to bowl. Now, Wakas can bowl a, a, quite a reasonable pace off a very pedestrian type run. And if he gets it on his, on his day, he can be, you know, certainly in the one day competitions, could be really, really good. And uh, when you can see the way that you know he can bowl with a fair pace, that uh, so it's a shortish run, isn't it? It's yeah, but yeah, but look where the wicket keeper's gone back to, and a slip in as well. Yeah, interesting. Hussein in bowls to Cook, for just onto the uh, leg stump again, misfield, and Smith. Was it Smith? No, it, it, um, it's uh, Cook just. Uh, Trundles through for a comfortable single. Batsmen sort of have a conflab, and uh, obviously, uh, as far as the cook telling club captain Tom Wesley where we're at with it, 
what the wicket's doing. Because uh, Tom's not been playing in the uh, T20 competitions of late. Or well, not so much. He played in the last three, didn't he? Yeah, but he didn't play earlier on, so... Mm. Who's saying it? Wesley just uh, stands up and pushes that out to uh, mid off. Yes. I always remember uh, Tom Wesley scoring a, a big hundred for the Cambridgeshire uh, under 13s, what it, uh, which I was assisting with. and. Uh, at uh, Exning Park, where Cambridgeshire played on Sunday, it was Wakai Susain in Wesley just uh, lifts his bat, rolls it over, and lets it go through to wicketkeeper Lee Thomason. Yeah, I mean, he was a talented cricket. If he got in, in a, in a with the assistance of uh, playing a little bit of Saffron Walden and, and Milton Hall, where, strangely enough, where he's still registered to play if he ever gets the time. <laughs> Wakai Susain in again to Wesley. Wesley. Onto the front foot, a little bit over pitch, pushes that out between uh, extra cover and cover. Harrison Craig after it, but uh, he gives up and uh, the ball through to the boundary for for four. Wesley off the mark with a, with a nice shot. If ever you want a, a clue as to what the weather's been recently, the lightning fast outfield will tell you it's been dry, dry, dry. It's well, uh, it is dry, but I mean, I think it, if you went out, it's how it's dried yeah. since those torrential storms of the other week. I mean, mm. where Peterborough, for example, and I think they suffered. He's saying it again to Wesley. Better length, better line. Wesley having nothing to do with it. Can't force when 48 for one and win the seventh over. But uh, again, a little bit, although we've had that boundary, it's a little bit better this over. It's a little bit better length. It's just about control, isn't it? Trying to rein Essex in a little bit. And That's right. And that wicket certainly makes a difference. It does. A lot of difference. Just gives a boost to everybody who's saying in again. But again, over-pitched. But there's no run. Didn't quite time it. But no. No, end of the over. 49 for one. Yeah, decent over. Decent over, just changing things around a little bit, just putting the brakes on just a touch. Of course, with the uh, loss of uh, Will Buttleman, rather surprisingly good catch by Garantler. It was a surprisingly good catch, but one of the, one of the things about the uh, a very good position here is the uh, the window, the plastic windows. You've got stanchions in the way. It's like the old football ground is in the way. Yeah. Like at, it's not quite like being at Luton or Grimsby. No. No, so definitely not Luton. The grounds are made entirely out of stanchions. Yes. Smith comes into Cook. And Cook goes for that one in a big way, misses, and uh, ball through to in, in Mark Smith into his fourth over. In again. And this time over pitched, and Cook just pushes it past the bowler, past mid off, and uh, all the way along the floor, uh, straight drive up the other end for another four. Again, all in the timing. The, the margin for error when you're bowling at a uh, player like Sir Alistair Cook, there is none. No. It's either we've got to be spot on, because that was just only a tad over pitched. I mean, on a normal day and a weekend in the National Counties game, he might have got away with that, but not against a, a batsman of Cook's class. Welcome to Triumphsford. Yep, yeah. in again. Cook this time just dobs that down, Smith collects. It was his birthday last week while we were playing at Barry St Edmunds. Mark Smith, can't remember how old he was. But he was oh, right. He's gone home with little, one of these little crowns on the top. They bought him a cake from his local supermarket <laughs> and made him wear it. In again to Cook. Again, similarly, just... Just back of a length, Cook just pushes away onto the onside. 